That's definitely a bargain. This is gonna be a lot of fun. What an interesting concept. Today, we're gonna have some fun with transfer paper. But as we often do in this studio, we're going to use it in a different way and actually get two transfers from one sheet of transfer paper. How are we gonna do it? Stick around and you'll find out. Using today's transfer method, you can transfer to many different surfaces like wood, ceramics, metal, and even glass. But wait, that's not all. We're gonna create another transfer from the same sheet of paper. And yeah, using the second method, we'll be able to transfer into paper and make beautiful cards and transfer into your journal, whatever great ideas you'll have to use it for. So here's the transfer paper we're going to use. So I received this transfer paper as a free product from the Hippie Crafter. I know this product is used for self-adhesive vinyl, so I hope they don't mind that I'm finding a whole new way to use this uh, transfer paper. You know how I like to test and experiment and come up with new processes all the time. I'm going to post links below this video for this product. Just look below this video. Okay, so first we need to print our photo on standard printer paper using a laser printer. So we are doing this process with a laser printer today, but I'll test this process with an inkjet printer in another video. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that video. The transfer tape comes in 20 12 by 12 sheets, so let's cut it to the size we need. Now remove the paper backing and don't throw it out since we're going to use it later. And now we're going to line up the sticky side of the transfer paper over the image and use something like an old card to burnish it a little. Now let's put the transfer in warm water and soak it for a few minutes. Now we're going to remove the wet paper. Uh, don't worry, it's actually quite easy to do. What we want to do is remove all the paper and just have the image alone, which is now fixed in the clear transfer tape. If the paper does not separate easily, try soaking it a little longer. And if you're enjoying this video, you will love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's on Amazon. Okay, once all the paper is removed, we can transfer our image to our chosen surface. I chose this uh, craft wood, but you can transfer it to almost any other surface. So first, place the image sticky side down. And all we need to do now is apply heat to transfer the image. So I'm going to place a thin fabric over the transfer and I'm going to use an iron to transfer the image. It's really that simple. Make sure you don't forget to place the fabric over the transfer tape so the iron doesn't melt it. And now I'm simply going to lift the transfer paper. And yeah, our image is transferred to the wood. Okay, so now let's see the second transfer method that we can do, but this time we're gonna use the paper backing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna use. Save the planet, use everything. I hope you two save the paper backing from before. Again, we are going to use laser printer, but this time we're going to print directly into the paper backing. And we need to print on the shiny waxy side. So 
So here it is, my photo is laser printed on the paper backing. And I'm going to transfer this photo directly into my journal. And guess what? Just like before, all we need is heat in order to transfer this photo. I think it's like magic. So yeah, this is how we got a twofer from this lovely product. <laughs> Thank you, Hippie Crafter. <laughs> I really enjoyed this product. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this product. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I wasn't sure what I can do with it. I mean, but when I saw the word transfer paper, I said, oh, I should give it a try, see what I can do with it. And when I got it and looked at it, I said, well, I can't use it the way it's meant to be used. But uh, <laughs> so I was like thinking, you know, my brain was starting to go and I was thinking, what can I do with it? What's there that, you know, will be useful for my processes? and that I can use images. I mean, yeah. I got it for free, so I really wanted to use it for something to make some good use out of it. All I'm saying is like, you should try different things, like see how you can take something that is meant for one process and use it in your own process. Try to figure it out. Try to find things that work for you. Don't give up. A lot of people just give up. Don't give up. There's always something you can do, there's always a solution.